the fuck is he? Hey, shut the fuck up. He's coming. Fellas. Any motherfucker in my circle better abide by one rule. Don't be fucking dishonest. That's all I ask for. I don't want to work with a moron that can't follow that basic rule. Now don't insult my intelligence any more than you already have. Ozzy, I'm sorry. I want to know why! Why you would do something like that! I give you protection! I give you the food out of my fucking mouth! And this is what I get. Ozzy, I didn't see this coming. I trusted you. It's only fair. You don't see what's coming to you. Ozzy, wait. One more time, and the bag stays on. Run, you fucking idiot! Run! Bill, how's it going? Hey, Jeff. It's going, uh, okay. Did you get all your stuff moved back from New York? It must have been a pain. There was nothing to move. Yeah, well, uh, how can I help you? I have a situation with my back. I'm in a tremendous amount of pain. Well, we've got Tylenol. We've got Advil extra strength. Mm. There's heating pads on the next dial. Yeah, it's not going to work. It's just, it's really bad, you know? I can't even sleep. Yeah, that's horrible. Yeah. Uh, did Did you see your doctor? I didn't, but now I can't get an appointment, so it's I'm. Yeah. I see. Sorry to hear about that. Have you tried icing it, maybe? Uh, I haven't, but um, I I just came down here because I was thinking that perhaps you know I can get something a little stronger. Oh no, I'm not going to do that. That's not going to happen. You need to have a prescription for that. Do you understand what the consequences would be if I was to report this? I do. I didn't mean to insult you, I'm sorry. Uh, just, I'm just in a lot of pain, that's all. Uh, just the newspaper and the cigars, please. Uh, you can pay for that up front. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Cletus. Hey, yeah. Oh, my. <laughs> Box of my fresh cigars and a copy of the latest lies. It's always so nice of you. How you feeling? I can't complain. Yeah? Feeling okay? Yeah. Good. I just wanted to say hey. How you doing? 
Take care of yourself. Here you go. Yeah. C come sit with me for a minute. No, I have stuff. Uh, I got tons of crap to do at home. Come no. on. You got two minutes. Sit down here, man. You're always in such a rush. <laughs> we live in a world where all we think about is the past or the future. When you're young, you can't see it, but the moment is right in front of your face. The whole world is right in front of your face. When you're old like me, you can see it, but it's too late. You got nothing but time now. You got the whole world in front of you. Chatting with you, Cletus. Take care of yourself, man. Right? You be well, moment by moment. What's going on, baby? How you doing, Stacy? Hey, where you been hiding, man? You back at your mama's? Oh fuck. I'm sorry, dude. It's okay. Hey, you going that way? I can give you a ride. No, I was gonna walk. Come on, man, it's hot as the devil's dick out. Yeah, I know. You're gonna get dehydrated. I'm good. And I got beer. Some other time. All right. Suit yourself. Adios. Take care. Get the fuck down! Now! Fuck. Are you okay? Are you alright?
Gal, it's AJ. This is the only number I have for you. My mom ran into your aunt a while ago and she gave her this number. It's been a while since I left a message on an answer machine. But uh, I've got something to say and this is an AD. I'm not gonna say it on this here answer machine. So can you, you know, can you just call me back? My number is 323. Four, four. Yeah. Gal? Um. Well, how you doing? How are you? Um, look, okay, I, I didn't call to make small talk, so I'm just gonna, gonna come out and say it. You've got a daughter. Can I call you back? Are you a... Uh, hello? feel trapped. Trapped, okay. I just don't know if I want this anymore. Me or LA? I'm thinking about moving to New York, actually. I got an offer out there, a deal. I think I'm gonna take it. A record deal? It's amazing. Yeah. How long have you known about this? I don't know, about a month. A month? A month? Wow. You've been keeping this from me for a month? Why didn't you tell me? I'm telling you now. I just, I feel like I'm in a cage. I feel like I can't be who I want to be. I can't do what I want to do. I'm just being held down and I, I can't have a relationship with you and chase what I want to chase in New York. I just can't do both. You can do both. We can figure it out. I've never been one to stand in your way. Angie, come on. Come on what? Relationships take work. Yeah, but I want to work on one thing right now. And that's not us. Hey, what's up? Hey, can I use your bathroom? Didn't you just take a leak in my bushes? Yeah, gotta wash my hands. See you leaving the house much these days? I thought I'd see you around more since you've been back. A little time alone never hurt no one. Yeah, I guess. What about you? Are you still living over at your aunt's place? No, actually, I'm staying with Rosie. It's getting pretty serious. Are you doing stuff in town today, or? No. I am hungry, though. You wanna get something to eat? Get out a bit? Nah. Come on, ma'am. Let's go to Mr. Rosa's, get a couple of those chili dogs. I'm good. Wait, you like it in here? It's got shit to do. No, you don't. Get dressed.
I mean, I got my first hand job because of that song. <laughs> Used to come here with Lee, remember? Mm. Get a case of beer, bring the acoustics, and just write songs all summer. Yeah, I remember. Hey, what was the name of that first song we wrote? Soldier of Love. Soldier of Love. <laughs> so how's the music going? You still rocking, fucker? Yeah, I fell apart a while ago. Fell apart. <clears throat> Let's go eat. Shouldn't have fired me. Shouldn't have stolen my base. Can I tell you something? D man. I just found out I got a daughter. You're shitting me. I shit you not. With who? With AJ. With AJ? Come on, man. I thought she married that dipshit from Missoula. She did, I guess. I mean, I don't know. The girl's seven years old now. What's her name? Hazy. Hazy? Yep. That's your daughter's name? Uh-huh. Well, that's different. Tabasco. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Man, parents coming up with all these freaky names these days. Apple and Halo and shit like that. Yeah. I mean, whatever happened to names like Lisa and Debbie? Yeah, I don't know. AJ just got around to telling me after seven and a half years. It's the first time I've talked to her since then. So now what? Well, thinking about it, I gotta go meet her, I guess. Yeah? Where's she at? L.A. L.A.? You think about driving? I think about flying if I do go. No, man. Driving be way better. Drive all the way to L.A. Hells yeah. Hey, we should go. We? Yes, we. Man, it's been a long time since I've been out of White Sulphur. This is the perfect excuse. Besides, your sorry ass needs a companion. I guess a change of pace would do me some good. And that's what I'm saying! All right. I need to get the hell on out of here. Let's clear my head. Clear your head? What's going on with you? I thought you and Rosie were getting all serious. Yeah. Rosie's fine. We're fine. You know, I just gotta find my spirit animal or whatever. <laughs> Your spirit animal. It'd be funny if you found your spirit animal as like a dung beetle or a cockroach. Hey. Hey. I'm I'm sorry I sprung that on you the other day. I, I know this can't be easy for you. It's not. Why don't you tell me when it first happened? I mean, how could I have? You would... God, I was so fucked up and wrapped up in your own lifestyle. So what about... What's his name? Daniel? Yeah. Yeah, we, we split a while ago. I'm sorry to hear that. I was thinking... If it's okay with you... I'd like to come out there. Hazy would like that. Hazy, huh? Listen, next time you have a kid and you're actually around, you can have a say in the name, all right? I mean, I like it. Glad to have your approval. Do you have a picture of her you can text me? Yeah, of course, I will. Um, yep, I'll... I'll do that. Thanks. I'll see you soon.
You know how much I love you, right? Yes, but tell me anyway. I love you so much, I'd wrestle an alligator for you. <laughs> <laughs> I would. I'd go to the moon and back for you, honey. My eyes melt every time they look at you, so I can't look. <laughs> It's a long time, Stace. Oh, it's not that bad, babe. We'll be together soon, I promise. Just don't forget the plan, okay? I mean it, you have to do exactly what we said. I'm not kidding, <laughs> exactly how I wrote it down. I won't forget. And don't call me, okay? Just do what we said and wait for my call. I'm already waiting. I fucking love you. I fucking love you too, baby. Found out I got a daughter in LA. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> what a blessing. Yeah. That brightens my day. Yeah. I'm gonna go try and live in the moment. You take care of yourself, okay? You use that if you need me. Right? Yes, sir. You take care. You be well. Can't have a road trip without Twinkies. Alright, I got a piss. I'll be right back. Hey, good morning, ladies. Hey, how was the honeymoon? Hey, it's the naked cowboy. Yeah, where's your guitar? Expect payments when they do. I know, I know. You no, know, you know, then you fucking know. Why is it late? I don't know. Get out of here. So. <laughs> How's that truck treating you? Fucking sold it. Fucking what? <laughs> I'm just kidding, Oz. It's a good truck. Same as last time. Same as last time. Stuck my neck out for you. Went out on a limb, all because Tommy vouched for you. You got rid of the last batch quicker than a shit. So do the same with this. You hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Great. Oh, my money on Monday. Monday. Ah. Uh -huh. What? That's... Monday. Monday. Not Tuesday or Wednesday. I got it. Oz. Today is Thursday. Correct, Amundo. If I had to fucking come look for you, Oz, I got it. You will get your money. Man. One more stop. This truck ain't gonna take us 1,700 miles. God damn! Oh, she's sexy, ain't she? <laughs> I'd say so. What do you say, girl? You wanna come home with me? Hello, gentlemen. Now that there is a 64 Corvair. Monza. Last year they made them like that. Engines in the back, trunks up here in the front. Handles like a dream. Fast, well-balanced, great in the snow. This car was ahead of its time. And she's a beauty, ain't she? Yeah, she sure is. How much? Cut right to the chase. I like your style, young fella. Current sticker on this right now, $10,000, but worth every penny. Is she? Mm -hmm. She gonna take us all the way to Los Angeles? Oh, sure. Shoot, I've driven her all around here. Never been a lick of trouble. In fact, she purrs like a tiger. As a matter of fact, uh, this may be your boy's lucky day. 
Because as you can see, we are a, a wash in excess inventory, and I know my boss wants to move this one. So uh, he uh, happens to be in a good mood today. So I may be able to get him down to say uh, $9,000. What do you say? Come on, man. Hey, I know the blue book's eight, all right? But I only pay six, so I'm trading in that as well. What in the Sam hell is that old thing? Are you kidding me? That, my friend, is a 1988 Ford F-150 in all its glory. And why in the world would I want that? And I'll give you three very good reasons why you want that truck. One, the very first owner of that said truck was none other than the king's daughter herself, Lisa Marie. Oh, you can't prove that. Now, don't tell me I can't, because I can. Don't tell me I won't, because I will. Two, some say she used to drive around naked. And the leather seats still smell like her when the wind passes through. <laughs> but thirdly, I put a custom vibrating double pillow top mattress in the back. What do you say? Well, I say that mattress is coming out first thing. <laughs> but that might be a fair deal. Tell you what, let me run it by my boss, and if he gives it the thumbs up, I'll be back with some paperwork. Perfect. Lisa Marie Presley. <laughs> 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 she sounds good. Oh, she does, don't she? Hey, I tell you, after this trip, you can have it. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> Hey, what the fuck? Get up, dude. What? There's something wrong with the car. Huh? The car, it's like clinking. Can you go inside and get us some snacks? And some beer? What kind of beer? I don't know. The... Well, there's like 30 kinds, like fucking Dos Equis, Heineken. I don't give a shit. The kind that gets you drunk. you long enough. Fuck off. You're welcome, by the way. What's so fucking funny? What's so fucking funny? What? I'm a clown? I'm here to fucking amuse you? <laughs> you really are a 
funny guy. Huh? <laughs> to be like what do you mean like it's not like I think I could be her knight in shining armor or anything yeah. so what am I supposed to do just show up in LA and she's standing there and I'm like hi I'm your dad I just wish AJ would have told me before I left that I could have been there you know why did you leave LA you know when you're young and you, you go out and party, you know, and you, you uh, tear it up with your friends and, and you talk about all the fun you had. Yeah. And you go home and you go to bed. And the next morning, the first thing you do when you wake up is you call your friends. You talk about all the fun you had and you talk about doing it again. When you get older, <laughs> you don't want to talk to those friends the next morning. You don't want to see them the next day, the next week. The next month, even. What the fuck are you trying to say? That fucked up. <laughs> oh, man! Look at this fucking place! I told, I told you it was worth the stop. stop. Did you get that club? Oh, the car. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Did you hear that? What are you doing back there? Look at these names, man. 1973. Jack Steve Harry, 1948. <laughs> Nails, imagine like who touched these and how many times and how long ago. Yeah. It was wild. Hey, you should put hazies in. I was thinking about what you said last night. I got this friend. He's got a daughter, she's about 16 years old now. And when she was little, the two were tight. 
I mean, they did everything together. It was really sweet watching them too. But I saw him the other day. And I asked him how she was. And he said he didn't know. That he hadn't seen her in years. I asked him why not. And he said she doesn't want to see me. What can I do? <laughs> Apparently, his ex-wife put all this shit in her head. Made her hate her daddy. Hell, maybe she did. But you know what? He could have done something about it. He could have fought for her back when she was still a little girl. And today, she'd be right by his side. And you know what else? She would love him till the day he died. Like it's supposed to be. Look, man, the point is, he should have done something about it. Now she's gone. And he'll probably never get her back. So this woman walks into a pet store. She finds a bird there that's half the price of the others. And parrots are expensive. She goes to the shop owner. She says, why is this parrot half price? The guy says, it belonged to a brothel. That's why. Oh, that's OK. I'll take him. So she brings the bird home. Now, every time the woman walks in the room, the bird says, madam, madam. <laughs> now, she's got two fine looking daughters. Every time the daughters walk in the room, the bird says, Girls? Girls? <laughs> Every time the dad walks in the room, the parrot says, Hey, Earl! Oh, just let it sink in. <laughs> That's a good fucking joke. Excuse me. Can we get some menus and two coffees, please? Thank you. Mm. What the fuck is wrong with you? And this coffee's fucking free. Excuse me. Yeah? And this coffee's cold as shit. Well, that's what we have. What, well, can you throw it in a microwave or something? We ain't got no microwave. Well, then a pot or a pan. We don't do that here. Is there a problem, Margie? I don't know. Maybe. These drifters think they're in New York City. They forgot their manners. <laughs> they're a long way from home. Actually, we ain't that far from home. <laughs> Come on, let's hit a rest stop or something. Let's get no, out of here. man. We came here to get something to eat. And I'm starving. Get up and go to your apron and take the money when you went to the kitchen. I don't know why these clod hoppers don't just eat their food and stop fucking starting with us. Hey, I didn't take your money, ma'am. We're just trying to get something to eat. He took your money and I saw it. Andy? Check him. He's a lying piece of trash. Fuck you, Sit Sit down. Down. Come on now! James on here.
Montana. Hey, ain't you a singer or some shit? Hey, Merle, we got us a singer here. <laughs> Whatever happened to your little singing career? He's a one-hit wonder. A one-hit wonder. Is that what you are? That's what he was. Your mama called you Stacy? <laughs> <laughs> What the hell are you smiling at, boy? Nothing, sir. Did I say something to hit your funny bone? No, sir. Then why the fuck are you smiling, Stacy? Now, you gonna sing for us, boy? <sighs> fuck. You know, the radio in my truck's been on the fritz, and I've really been missing the music. <sighs> Magnificent. <laughs> All right, search the car. Trunks in the front. There'll be nothing left of that car when we're done searching it. Make sure you search it real good. Go ahead, dispatch. Ten four will be ten eighteen. Uncuff him. Today's your lucky day, boy. This could have been way. Do you know who the owner of this truck is? I'm the owner. But it used to belong to Lisa Marie Presley. <laughs> the fuck are you laughing at? <laughs> the fuck is so funny? You. Me what? That used car salesman. Oh. You thought you had him. Gail, shut the fuck up. So this guy is sitting at a bar. And he looks over and he sees this guy fall off his bar stool. So he goes over and he helps him up. As he's walking away, he sees the guy fall again. So he's like, buddy, I'm taking you home. So he hooks him under his arms, brings him out to his car, puts him in the car, he drives the guy home. When he gets to the guy's house, he gets out, goes around, opens the door, and the guy falls out. He's like, you gotta try and walk, damn it, you know? So brings the guy up to his doorstep, he carries him up the steps and he rings the bell and the guy's wife comes out. He goes, ma'am, I brought your husband home. She goes, where's the wheelchair? <laughs> That's a good joke. Hey, fellas. Hey. Hi. What's the problem? I had to see uh, the ignition coil thing just shut off. Okay. Can you pop the hood, please? Yeah, it's in the back. I know. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Right down here. Yeah, the coil's fine. Oh, 
That's hot. It's probably the generator. Okay. Uh, my uncle owns a shop in town, so we can we can bring her and take a look at it. Sounds great. Thank you. Yeah. Let's get going. It's fixed. Yeah. Fuck yeah. So what'd you guys decide to do tonight? You gonna stick around or hit the road? Well, it's getting fucking dark. Might as well just stay. That sounds great to me. All right. My uncle runs the motel. I'll go see if he has any rooms for you. Oh. Great. Uh, whose name should I put it under? His name. Put it under. I know who you are. Hey, how much can I pay you for the part? Nothing. You can just buy me drinks later if you feel so inclined. Okay. Sounds good. She already knows your name. <laughs> hey, Uncle Melvin. You got any rooms for my two new friends out there? Yeah, sure, honey. Thank you. Anytime. All right. Thank you. Meet you all in the lobby at 9. OK. All right. I think it's this way. Don't be late. Ball koozie. I mean it, man. She had me for like three good years of my life because of that shit. I remember that. You ditched all of us for her. Oh, I thought she was the one. Until I found out she gave Bobby Valley the ball koozie at a party senior year. What is a ball koozie? You tell me you don't know. I don't know. Really? What is it? I don't know. All right, it's when a girl is going down on you. Uh -huh. She gets a cup of warm water and a straw. She puts your balls in the warm water and then blows bubbles ever so gently with the straw. So wait a minute, how come I've never heard of this? <laughs> I don't know, but you're missing out. The way the warm water just warms your nutsack and then the blow job. Mm. So wait, you're getting all hot and heavy and you're just like, Hey, can I get a ball koozie? Oh, no, dude, you can't just ask a girl for a ball koozie. It's given. If you're lucky enough. <laughs> Let's go. Let's get fucked up. Hey. Hey. I know who you are. Yeah, what do you know about me? I know you're Galveston Tucker. And I know you wrote a little song called Montana Skies that played everywhere. And I know all the girls loved you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you sure? And I know you picked the right town to break down in. It sure seems like it. All right. Here's to you. Here's to me. Drinking buddies will always be. But if by chance we should disagree, fuck you. Here's to me. <laughs> Cheers, <laughs> uh, hey, Stacy. Hey, what? I bet you $28 you can't get that lady back there to buy you a shot. Hmm. All right. Make it 50 you gotta do. All right. Deal. You shook on me. I did. There's no way in hell he's gonna get her to buy him a shot. Yeah, he's just say that. Because that's me, Mark. She's like the me biggest Martha. bitch in town. Yeah. That's funny. She's been coming. I mean, a whole long, but everyone in town hates her. <laughs> well, what about you? I'm mean, just telling you, boy. Born and raised. Mm. <sighs> I mean, nothing near as exciting as what you're used to. Like what? <laughs> Just like always on the road, traveling, seeing new places. You can get lost. <laughs> Fifty dollars, motherfucker. Just consider your room payment. All right. Oh, dang. Thank <laughs> Fair you. Fair enough. I like that. <laughs> hey, so am I. So I heard. You should do it. Come on. Come on, man. Get up there. Please. For me? Okay. You get up there with me. Fine. Thanks, 
You ready? Hey, Galveston Tucker, ladies and gentlemen. I missed you today in a blanket of light. Now, baby, didn't I tell you to wait for my calls? Are you at your mama's? Good. No, we're just having some drinks. I guess I'll stay in jail. I'm sitting here alone, and I can't talk to you, and I can't call you, and you're at a bar? Oh, no, Rosie, it, hey, it ain't even like that. No, our car broke down, and this time... No, we're fine. Hey, hey, don't worry, all right? We shouldn't be talking on the phone now, okay? I gotta hang up now. But I love you, baby, all right? Rosie? I love you too, Stace. Yeah, have him meet me in the runway in two hours. But I want this one. I'm going alone. I've been in this business for 30 years. Nothing affects me. Not your begging. Not your tears. Not your sob stories. I've always had a soft spot for pretty girls. So, I'm gonna give you an opportunity to help yourself out. Where are my drugs? And what is he planning on doing with them? Guys, I'm beat. And we got an early day tomorrow. So? I'm going to bed. Y'all have fun. Wait, my coat's in the car. Can I have the keys? Thank you. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Watch it. I'm gonna, like, drive somewhere. No one's driving right now. Lame. Well, at least they come have a nightcap with me then. Are you sure you guys have to go back to LA tomorrow? Yeah. It must be nice to have something to go to. A reason to be anywhere else. Reason is reasons. It's like everything we do is for a fucking reason. <laughs> okay, what are you like? Some kind of like philosopher or something. I think I should call you a cow. Or an Uber or something. No, what? Don't just don't worry about it. Oh, Take care yeah. of myself just fine. Come on. What? You have my number. We can meet up some other time. When? When would that ever? Happen. You never know. It's fine. Have a good night.
Hey. Hey. Where the fuck's the car? It's not here. No, it's not here. The fucking car's gone. Where's Dolly? Not here. What do you mean, not here? Uh, did I even have the keys? Yes! I gave them to Dolly! What the fuck, gal? Did you see her leave? Hey, I don't... The I don't... car is fucking gone! I don't know, dude. Well, what the fuck? I don't understand why you're so upset. I mean, I know it sucks the car is gone, but she'll probably bring it back. And if she doesn't, you can get insurance. We just have to stay here a couple of days. No, we can't stay here a couple days, Gail. Fuck! All right. I was gonna tell you, all right. It was a small job to get me and Rosie to Mexico. That's it. A small job. Oh, that's nice. That would be great. Yeah. Yeah, can I help you? Yes, you can. What's your name? Melvin. Melvin. I'm looking for my nephew. Maybe you've seen him. Stacy Dalton. He's about this tall, long hair. Looks like he should be in a band. Yeah, we just can't give out information about the guests, you know, unless you got a really good reason. Is it a legal matter? No. No, it's not. Listen, Melvin. Stacy's mom, my little sister, was in a really bad car accident. She broke her leg in three places. Now, it's really important that I find her son. I'm just looking for a little help. I need a room number. Yeah, I'm really sorry. I just can't get that information out. You had a mother at one point, right? You should have known, man. Some things never fucking change. Oh, fuck you, gal! If you weren't trying to get your dick sucked, we wouldn't even be in this situation! This her fucking Hollywood. Look at yourself now, gal. Look at yourself! Let me throw it all away because I'm a fucking baby brat! You don't know, man. You don't know what I went through. I wish I had the life you had. No. I worked shit fucking jobs, fucking scrubbing the floor at Boomer Burger. Well, you were living an endless party in Hollywood. Look, I just can't give out that kind of personal information. Melvin, you seem like a nice guy. Thank you. Do I look like a nice guy to you? I don't know, I just met you. You're meeting me for the first time and I'm asking you. Do I look like a nice guy? Yeah, I guess. Melvin, where I'm from, nice people help each other. I just need a room number. Yeah, I'd check out room 12 first if I were you. Room 12? You see, Melvin? You're a nice guy. You left me behind. You're supposed to be my friend. You never even answered my calls. You don't know what I went through. So don't fucking judge me. When you went through your shit, I was there. You left, so fuck you, you pill-popping junkie. Wow. See a few pills in my house, I'm a fucking junkie. I was trying to kill myself with those pills. I wish you fucking had. Yeah, I didn't. You fucking stabbed me in the back. What an asshole. Sit down, you dead piece of shit. Uh. Met your girlfriend the other day. She's real pretty. It's a real youthful look to her. How old is she? <laughs> oh, what's that? Well, you can't talk? Oh, that's right. There's duct tape on your mouth. Not so funny now, is it? <laughs> well, 
I'll say this, she did have a youthful look. <laughs> Can't tell anymore. But I can tell you're upset, and I don't blame you. But when things aren't done right, there's consequences. Now I'm gonna remove this tape for just <laughs> one second. And I only wanna hear you say one thing, just one. Where are my drugs? You got that? Ozzy, the drugs are in the car, all right? The car got stolen. It wasn't our fault. Wrong uh, answer. Uh, what are you know, country music gets a bad rap. Don't you think? I mean, it's not bad. It's just, I never admit it. One of you dummies knows where my drugs are. How about you? You feel like yapping? No! Drop that gun. I want my shit. You understand? There's gonna be one more dead asshole up in here. Now, I don't know what he did or didn't tell you. That's not my fault. That's on you, because you're the only motherfucker in here that could know where my drugs are. You got till tonight. You better not run. You better not call the cops. You better not tell anyone. Or I'm gonna hunt you and your family down just like this one here. Now get the fuck out of here, and remember, I'm gonna be watching you. Fuck are you? Whoa! Why are you so angry? I had to work early this morning. I'm at the door. What happened last night? I fucking like you, man. But and don't take this personally. But I just kind of thought that I liked the car a, a little bit more. But now that I'm thinking about it, that might not have been the best idea. Um, so you should just I don't know, come to the bar and pick it up. Where are you? Kendra again. Everybody say hey to Gal. Hey. Where the fuck are the keys? Okay, I'm sorry. Chill out. They're right over there. Chill out. Get your, Chill out, Dolly. Get, stay. Get have a drink. Keys. What happened to your face? Okay. I just need the keys, please. Okay, I'm. I'm sorry. I, okay, it was just a joke. Just a joke. Yeah. How else was I supposed to get to see you again? Have the keys, please. You don't know. You don't know anything, do you? Did you check the trunk? No. What the fuck are you waiting for? You remember what happened to your boyfriend, right? Well, you want the same? No, you don't. Let's go. Hey. 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 
gotta get the keys for the trunk. Okay. No funny business. Big fucking metal box. I don't see a box in here. Close the trunk. Did he tell you where it is? No. Did you fucking lie to me? I'm not. I don't. He didn't. Even, we drove across country and we were just coming to LA. I had no idea what you're even talking about or what he did. I, I don't know. Mommy, or hell. Come here, where you fucking go? Come here, you're trying to kill me with my own fucking gun. You think I'm a fucking idiot? Huh? Knock it off. Listen, stop. I didn't have a problem with you. You trying to take my shit? I told you before, you go to the cops, you tell anybody, I'll fucking kill you. I won't. 